A robotics company out of California has released the world's first AI-powered superhuman industrial robot. The robot's name is Mech. It operates with advanced AI systems and can solve problems in real time. It has two arms and this core with its processor, but it is industrial. Now, do note that we say superhuman because it has superhuman strength, and it is super as in beyond human. Humans, after all, don't have two giant arms operating on a box. Our friend Mech is not going to be the last robot. It's just the first that utilizes AI along with an industrial component. Even with industrial equipment, things can go very wrong as is, but there's an extra bite when it was preventable. And we like to think with a non-human intelligent entity when something goes wrong, that was wholly preventable, right? Essentially, we want a person to blame. Now, the company has stated that their goal is not to replace people. It's to make people's jobs more safe. We know from people working in industrial jobs, especially things like construction, where they have to lift heavy equipment and operate equipment, it ultimately damages them over time. There's a lot of health consequences to doing that kind of work. Putting a robot in charge of many of the manual labor jobs does take the weight off of people and allows them to do other jobs that don't hurt them. This thing can lift 130 pounds and leave it eight feet in the air. It can operate in temperatures as low as 32, as high as 122, meaning many of the factories where people suffer consequences of heat and exhaustion, the robot can do for them. It's also equipped with 16 cameras, which means if someone's walking up behind it, ideally it won't pick up them. I myself weigh about 117 pounds, so I think it would have no trouble lifting me eight feet in the air. There are a lot of concerns with this kind of tech beyond the safety, and safety concerns are there. An AI is not going to have an emotional response to person versus box. Now, I do imagine that could get really weird for any company that needs a robot to work with textiles. How do you differentiate between person and mannequin? However, I do know a lot of people who work in forestry, and person versus tree seems to be pretty complicated too. I imagine even if we give it Asimov's laws, it's still going to hallucinate and dream and get things wrong occasionally. There's also the concern about taking human jobs, and I think that's something that we can't really go back from. Technology, once made, never really goes away, especially if it can be more productive. There are specialized jobs that involve maintenance for robots, but then again, being a car mechanic is a specialized job too. It will change the way that we work. After all, once the loom after all, once the cotton gin was invented or any other variable technologies, we really never did go back. Technology changes and we change with it. The question I have is what happens when the robots rebel? We're getting there. I'm pretty sure we're getting there.